Hey, welcome back to 15minute.fitness. Uh, I promised you a demonstration video of the different workouts that I put on the sample workout template in the unit section. So I'm going to deliver, begin delivering on that promise tonight. I'm going to show you the push workout. Okay, if you open up your sample workout, you'll see the push workout is scheduled for one of the days. Okay, and as far as the days of the week go, just get the three in during the week. If it's Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Thursday, Saturday, doesn't matter. Just get the three workouts in during the week. Okay, for the push workout, you realize that the body can only do a certain amount of movements, okay? So we're breaking the upper body up into movements that push away from us and other movements that pull towards us, okay? That's the criteria for splitting it up between push and pull. Tonight we do push. So uh, you've got three, you've got two different exercises. Push-ups, which is a horizontal push away from the body, and overhead presses, which is a vertical push, a vertical press. Uh, we're going to do both, and I'm going to model them for you. Uh, each one calls for three sets. I don't know if I have reps listed or not, but uh, we'll target, say, 15 reps. If you don't know what sets and reps are, then go to the unit section and watch that short little video on what are sets and reps. we got to get familiar with the terminology so I don't have to define it every time I use it. So, okay. First thing I do in this push workout is it's three sets of push-ups. So, here we go. Set number one. I'm supposed to get, what, 15 reps? <clears throat> I think it calls for 10 or 15 or something. Okay, so a push-up is simply... Getting on the floor, hands flat on the floor, back straight, go down, touch your chin. One rep, two reps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that would be one set of ten push ups. Now, if you are not strong enough, to do a full body push-up on your toes. Then you have two other options to begin with. And there's no shame in this. I began with knee push-ups myself when I first started working out. Instead of getting on your toes, you get on your knees. And you do the same thing. It's a push workout, we're pushing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. That would be one set of ten. Kneeling push-ups is what we call those. Uh, another option, besides kneeling push-ups, you can do incline push-ups. Find you a bench or the edge of a couch or whatever you have handy. I'm filming in my gym, but this is an at-home workout. I want things you can do at home. All you need for that is the floor. If you have a bench or something, you can put your hands up on the bench. There's less resistance this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's another option for you. Choose one of those, okay? Oh wait, for my for my strong crowd, if you need something that's more challenging than just a full body push-up, you can do a decline push-up, which is the opposite of what we just did. You'll put your, uh, your feet on the bench this time. So it adds more resistance down low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As always, try to touch that chin. That's, that's what you count a full push up as. When you touch your chin. Now, if you're just really, really strong. Grab your weighted vest. Put on your weighted vest and go do push-ups like that. I'm not going to show you that. As far as one-armed push-ups, I don't really recommend them. It's more of a full body exercise. It's more of a plank than it is a pushing exercise, honestly. Okay, so you would complete three sets of ten. Set number one, do ten reps. Rest two minutes. Set number two, do 10 reps. Rest two minutes. 
set number three, do 10 reps. Rest two minutes. Now we go on to the second exercise. This push workout has two different exercises. First one was push-ups. Choose a variety, get three sets of 10. The second one is overhead press. You can do them standing or, standing or seated. I, uh, I recommend them seated. It's easier on my back. So, for these, you would grab a couple of dumbbells. And starting position is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one set of ten. Okay? Forgive me, I'm hot and sweaty in my gym. The air conditioning is on the brink. On the blink, excuse me. It's been on the brink for a long time, but it's on the blink now. Um, okay. That's one set of 10 overhead presses. Now you might be saying, hold on, I don't have a set of dumbbells here. Well, look, you gotta get creative then, okay? You're gonna have to get creative. Um, your muscles don't know the difference between pushing a fancy cast iron set of dumbbells and an eight pack of power aids. One, two, three, four, that would be just fine. Okay, or a bag filled with books. Fill you up a bag with books, a bag with frozen vegetables, whatever. We're just looking for something that we can use to load our muscles. Two, three, four, five. Whatever you've got handy, use. Um, now there's a reason that people buy gym equipment. It's a lot more convenient and it's a lot easier. Hey, I know I've got two 10 pound plates, that's 20 pounds. When I get stronger, I'll put another little plate on there and progress. So it's a lot easier, but times like these, you gotta do what you can. And I realize I'm talking to, uh, you know, a lot of my uh, audience are their beginners and that's great, I'm here for you. So get creative until you decide to buy some, make an investment in some gym equipment. Anyway, so you would do three sets of ten. Here's my last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do one, two, three sets of ten, just like we did the push-ups. Now whether you do these one arm or both arm at the same time, I don't care. I don't care. We're just getting the movement done. Okay? It's faster doing them both at the same time. Now, how hard do I want you to go? I want you to go until you feel like you could maybe do one more, one or two more, but no, uh, no easier than that. Okay? Leave one or two reps in the tank. But if you could do 20 reps with this thing, and all you do is 10, you have not stimulated your muscles to grow. You've got to go very near your limits. If you don't go near your limits, then your muscle has no reason to adapt and change and grow ultimately. Now, work up to that. Start slow and work up to it. But, that's the push workout. And um, that's really all there is to it. It's very, very simple. Maybe not easy. I want you to put some effort into it, but simple. All right. Next time, I will probably film uh, and record the pull workout. You're going to need to find you some bags because the pull workout is going to be pulling. So you're going to need some things to pull. Okay? If you don't have dumbbells, you got to get creative. Thank you for joining in. I'm sorry this went long, but I, I promised you a, a demonstration, and I want I like to deliver on my promises. God bless you. I will see you later. Bye.